Hi, in this video we're going to look at the interior angles that are formed when a transversal cuts two or more lines. So we have interior angles and then we're going to look at a brief proof of why they add up to 180 degrees when we're dealing with parallel lines. So first let's look at non-parallel lines. Let's say I have these two lines right here and I cut them with a transversal. Well, where are the interior angles? Well, when we refer to interior angles, we're, we're talking about the angles on the inside of these two lines. Let's call them A and B. So on the inside, and where the transversal meets those lines. So we have, this is an interior angle, and so is this. And this is an interior angle, and so is this. So those are the one, two, three, four interior angles. Now, each of these interior angles will add to something. Uh, we're not sure in this case. The interesting case is when A and B are parallel. But here I just wanted to point out what the interior angles really are. So let's look at when they're parallel, what happens, and then we'll prove that. So let's say I have line A and line B. Let's label that A and B, and we're saying that A is parallel, line A is parallel to line B. All right, well, let's cut them with a transversal. Again, a transversal is just a line that cuts two or more other lines. In this case, it's cutting two parallel lines. Well, what's going to happen? Let's say we have these angles, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, what happens when you have two parallel lines is that the interior angles on the same side of the transversal so in this case, angle 4 and 6, they're on the same side of the transversal. Here's the transversal, and there's the right side, and the left side, they're on the right side. So if they're on the same side, and they're interior angles, and we're cutting parallel lines with a transversal, then they add up to 180 degrees. They're supplementary. And we'll look at why in a moment. On this side of the transversal, angles 3 and 5, right? There their two interior angles, so 3 and 5, also add up to 180 degrees. And that's going to be helpful in many problems that you encounter. So why, why does this make sense? Well, let me just change color here. What we, we can look at is, um, let's look at 4 and, and 6. Well, angle 2 is right here. And if I add 2 to 4, what is that? Well, they're on the same straight line, so if I add 2 and 4, I get 180 degrees. So we can say that angle 2 plus angle 4 equals 180 degrees. Well, one, one important postulate, one thing that we are given, this is, is called the parallel line postulate. A postulate is almost like a theorem. Um, it's more of a given definition. And um, this is very close to the corresponding angles postulate. We'll pair them up together. Uh, depending on how you look at it, what these two things say is that, all right, if you have two parallel lines and you cut them with a transversal, corresponding angles are equal. Now, I went over the corresponding angles in, in another video, but here we could say that two does correspond to 6. Just like 4 corresponds to 8, 3 corresponds to 7, and 1 corresponds to 5. They're corresponding, and what the parallel line postulate says is that corresponding angles are equal. They're equal. So 2 is equal to 6. So let's write that down. Angle 2 equals angle 6. And this is something we can't really prove. It's interesting enough, we, we're just given this. We can change the rules here and say they're not going to be parallel and look at other examples, but here we're given that they're parallel. So this postulate says, okay, if they're parallel, we cut them in the transversal, these corresponding angles have to be equal to each other. So 2 has to equal 6. Well, if 2 equals 6, and I have this equation up here, what can I do? Well, instead of writing angle 2 plus 4, I could write angle 6 plus 4. Why? Because 2 and, and 6 are equal, so I'm just swapping one for the other. 
And if I add them up, what do they have to equal? Well, they have to equal 180 degrees. And that's the basic idea about why interior angles have to add up to 180 degrees. All right, hope that helped.